Bodies were broken and blood was shed this past Saturday night when the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the Apex Predator entered Devil's Playground, hell in a cell, last Saturday at Bad Blood. In the end, Cody Rhodes writes the final chapter and retained his World Heavyweight Championship. But the hits keep on coming right here tonight on SmackDown. Cody Rhodes alongside the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, take on two men they look to settle the score with in the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. That is right here tonight on SmackDown, but kicking things off in moments. As announced earlier this afternoon, it is two out of three falls between two superstars who have been at each other's necks for months, all in regards of the United States Championship. Let's take a look to how we got to Carmelo Hayes versus Ludwig Kaiser here tonight. Over the last two months, Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser has been on the chase, following Carmelo Hayes down every path in an attempt to take away his United States title. It was last month at No Mercy that Melo was able to overcome a motivated and nearly successful Kaiser, but the chase didn't stop there. Kaiser used Melo's right-hand man, Trick Williams, as a pawn in his game. Add that on top to the numbers game of Imperium, and Kaiser had pinned the champion. Just two weeks later, the Trick Melo gang returned with a vengeance. Unfortunately, blinded by their emotions, they were caught with yet another upset from Imperium. Melo and Trick, along with John Cena, scored an ounce of payback this past Saturday at Bad Blood, defeating Imperium in a six-man tag team matchup. Now, split two pinfalls apiece, Kaiser and Melo look to settle the score. It's a two out of three falls match, live tonight on SmackDown. Who will leave the Richmond Coliseum as the United States Champion? Will Ludwig Kaiser's pursuit of the gold finally pay off? Or will Carmelo Hayes once again show that when he shoots, he does not miss? We are live for the RVA, the River City, inside the Richmond Coliseum, right here in Richmond, Virginia. And what bigger way to kick things off on your Thursday night edition of SmackDown than with the United States Championship Clash. And you'll immediately notice that Ludwig Kaiser makes the ring walk a solo man. Giovanni Vinci, Gunther, Trick Williams, and damn near everybody in the SmackDown locker room has been barred from ringside. It is mano a mano. We are gonna get a fair and decisive winner in this two out of three falls matchup. And that is certainly pivotal for Carmelo Hayes as the numbers of Imperium have certainly benefited Ludwig Kaiser in recent weeks. Melo defeating Carmelo, I should say Melo defeating Ludwig Kaiser pinning his shoulders to the canvas at no mercy. And then again this past Saturday at Bad Blood in the six-man tag team matchup. Ludwig Kaiser with help of Giovanni Vinci defeating Melo in singles non-title matchups last month. And then of course the tag team contest that followed just two weeks later. They are split, two pinfalls apiece. Hence the reason for the two out of three falls matchup. Somebody is gonna have to get the job done. Not once, but twice in the same contest on the same night to walk away from the legendary Richmond Coliseum as the true United States Champion. Well, Kaiser has been on the tail of Mello for months and it all comes to a head right here, right now on SmackDown. Will Gold finally find its way back to Imperium? This young man not looking to allow it. The United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes. 
He has held that gold since Friday night, July the 5th, when he defeated Ricochet at the Great American Bash in Philadelphia. He has retained that championship over Chad Gable in Gable's hometown in Minneapolis back at Saturday night's main event in August. And then, of course, the successful retention against Ludwig Kaiser last month at No Mercy. Now he runs it back with Kaiser. After two months of anticipation, two months of the blood boiling between these two superstars. The question remains if Melo can do it all over again. With the lights on bright, with the gold on the line, Melo says when he shoots, he does not miss. Kaiser's looking for a block, looking to run it down the court, and looking for a slam dunk here in Richmond. It is going to be a big night here on SmackDown. All-star tag team matchup on the horizon in your main event and so much more. But what bigger way to kick things off? Hot off the heels of bad blood. It is two out of three falls. The United States Championship is on the line. Let's send things down to Mike Rome for your official championship introductions. Introducing the challenger from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds. And his opponent, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes! Well, so many legendary superstars have held that United States Championship right here on SmackDown. You look back at the years, Booker T, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Eddie Guerrero, the list goes on and on. Carmelo Hayes adding his name to that list back in the month of July. Ludwig Kaiser is looking to be next up. There you see senior referee Charles Robinson hoisting the prize high in the sky. It is high stakes, high reward in your opening bout tonight on Thursday Night Smackdown. Here we go, Kaiser Mello, two out of three falls for the United States Championship. Pinfall submission, hopefully how we see decisions tonight, but normal match rules apply. You just gotta get a decision twice as Mello's hot out of the gate, going skyward in the early moments. Carmelo Hayes. Taking the court with emphatic force. Mello's got some bad blood with Ludwig Kaiser. You remember Kaiser ambushed Trick Williams, Mello's right hand man, back in the parking garage last month. Sent him right through that windshield. Kaiser stealing two victories over Mello in recent times as well. The six man tag team win this past Saturday was a feather in the cap, absolutely. But tonight when the United States Championship is on the line is what matters most for these two specific WWE superstars. See Kaiser trying to match Melo's energy, revving up the pace for a moment there. But now that he's got Melo on the canvas, just going to try to slow down the pace and incapacitate the current holder of the red, white, blue, and gold. The difference tonight for Ludwig Kaiser opposed to what he first fought Mello for the championship back in No Mercy as Kaiser knows he has what it takes to pin the shoulders of Carmelo Hayes. Giovanni Vinci was an X-Factor, yes. The emotions of Mello and Trick. Another playable factor in the reasons that Kaiser has been successful. He has done this song and dance with Mello before. He has pinned those shoulders. Can he do it not once but twice? And finally win the gold he has been chasing since the end of August. All remains to be seen here. Of course, Imperium, a little bit of an up and down ship since the month of August. The ring General Gunther losing his World Heavyweight Championship back at SummerSlam, resurfaced at the season premiere of SmackDown several weeks ago. Of course, return to action in the six man tag this past Saturday. And although it was not pinned, coming up short in his in ring return. Guys are looking to turn it all around for Imperium here tonight on SmackDown. It starts by defeating Carmelo Hayes and winning the United States Championship. Certainly a task easier said than done. Melo has shown that he can be great. Melo continues to improve throughout this year, hence the reason why he's been so successful. On top, takes down Kaiser with a very unique arm drag. You know, the first match 
of WWE in 2024 was at the day one edition of Raw all the way back on January the 1st. Carmelo Hayes was involved in the very first contest of this year, going one-on-one -on -one with Hall of Famer Edge on Monday Night Raw. Melo might have come up short on that night. We have seen the progression of Carmelo Hayes just getting better and better throughout 2024. And he is showing you why all over again. Springboard, leg drop right to Kaiser. Melo not looking to leave any stone unturned. Looking to win the United States Championship all over again here tonight. Melo looking hot against Kaiser. Kaiser's on spaghetti legs. Melo going for a double springboard. Kaiser just sidestepped it. I believe we are in for a great wrestling contest between these two superstars here tonight on SmackDown. What a tag team matchup still to come. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov alongside the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, the current World Heavyweight Champion, going 2v2 against two men. They have their own scores to settle with, and Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. It'll be a huge main event right here tonight as Ludwig Kaiser may be signaling for the end, just dropped Mello right on his crown. Oh, man. Ludwig Kaiser securing the first pinfall. And now the pressure is on the United States champion as Kaiser caught him with one of his best maneuvers, dropped Mello right on his dome. It is now one zip. Kaiser is in control. And this is what you got to believe is exactly what Ludwig Kaiser wanted to get the early advantage over the United States champion who realizes there is now a sense of urgency. Here comes Mello. Kaiser caught Mello just at the right time. Dropped him right on his head as we mentioned and as you saw. And it was enough to knock the champion silly for a few moments. And now we see Carmelo Hayes try to rev up the engines, feel like his back's against the wall, and does not want to see the United States Championship around his waist disappear tonight. Off the springboard. Will that do it? It's only a one count. Carmelo Hayes is one pinfall or submission away from losing his United States title. First 48. Will this tie up this two out of three falls? It does! Melo hits the first 48, the same maneuver that pinned Kaiser this past Saturday at Bad Blood, and just like that, we are at an even playing field. The next pinfall or submission will decide the United States champion. Will it be Kaiser? Will it be Melo? We are 1-1 here in Richmond. Mello felt his back against the wall, felt the pressure starting him out after Kaiser took the early advantage, but now Mello's hitting his groove. Carmelo Hayes going somewhere he's extremely comfortable. Middle rope frog splash, looking to bring this thing to a finish. Not just yet, Kaiser's still alive. Man, oh man, fast-paced United States Championship matchup Two out of three falls here on SmackDown. These two men showing what it means to them to walk away of the Richmond Coliseum tonight with the prestigious gold. Kaiser now looking to turn the tables on the reigning defending champion. Pun kick. Kaiser to win the title. Not just yet. Oh, but Kaiser's looking to keep his foot on the gas. In prime position, turning Mello inside out. Imperium's German may have this matchup won. But Carmelo Hayes is still alive. Mello's still into it at the right combination of heavy hitting maneuvers by the challenger. Mello off the sidestep, just trying to hang in there as Kaiser starts to mount some offense. Sending Ludwig over the top rope, Kaiser getting caught on the apron, Mello hot on his trail, dropping him right on his crown with that slingshot DDT. When Mello shoots, Mello doesn't miss. 
These two men realize the opportunity that is at hand. Melo not looking to lose his United States Championship tonight. Kaiser not looking to see this opportunity slip through his fingers. You gotta believe if Kaiser falls short of the finish line yet again, that he is gonna be at the back of the line in regards to championship opportunities. Kaiser not looking to see that result. But Carmelo Hayes has turned the tables. Off that slingshot DDT. That might have scrambled the brains of Kaiser as Melo finally delivers that double shot crossbody. And he almost had this matchup secured. Kaiser able to sidestep that maneuver earlier on. Melo went back to the well with it and luckily it worked out. Certainly a risk by the current holder of the red, white, blue, and gold. Kaiser now sidestep. Melo catches him with a DDT. Kaiser rolled to the outside, but I don't think there's any running from a man who's willing to go to pillar to post to retain his title. Springboard, cross to the outside. Ludwig Kaiser looking like a lost soldier at the moment. As Melo scales the ropes, the United States champion is looking confident. He may be looking to shoot. Nothing but net. Kaiser looking up at the lights of the Coliseum. This one's over. Two out of three falls. And to the victor goes the spoils. A hell of a contest between the champion and the challenger. But Kaiser's persistence to win the United States Championship does not benefit him here tonight. Carmelo Hayes shoots. Carmelo Hayes does not miss. Here is your winner, and still WWE's United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes. A great contest to kick things off inside the Richmond Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia. Two months of struggles between Ludwig Kaiser and Carmelo Hayes come to a head here on Thursday Night SmackDown. One hell of a battle. Then on the other side of the bell, sees the United States Championship remaining with him, Carmelo Hayes, still your holder of the gold. When the tension rises and the war on the battlefield begins, there is only one thing for these superstars to do. Survive! Coming your way on Saturday night, November 16th, from the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. Witness the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic as the superstars of Raw and SmackDown, along with No Nation Gaming channel memberships, proudly present Survivor Series! We're back live inside the Richmond Coliseum here on Thursday Night SmackDown and we are set for Women's Division Tag Team Action! The First Lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega, alongside her tag team partner... And Raquel Rodriguez. These two women got a score to settle with Kyrie Sane. But who's standing alongside Kyrie Sane in the midst of this tag team bout? And her partner from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Well, last Saturday night, Raquel Rodriguez had the opportunity to win back the Women's World Championship. Unfortunately, the prodigy Roxanne Perez was willing to do anything it took to retain her gold, even if it meant bending the rules, exposing the turnbuckle, delivering a pop rocks on top of that, and cheating the championship away from Raquel Rodriguez once again. Roxanne Perez and her new attitude continue to be a benefit to her. Raquel's gonna have to live to fight another day to eventually get back the championship she lost last August at SummerSlam. Raquel gonna have to put Perez behind her tonight because herself along with Selena Vega 
Got a score to settle with this woman, the Sky Pirate of SmackDown, Kyrie Sane, who returned several weeks ago, showing absolutely no mercy. And representing the Kabuki Warriors from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kyrie Sane. Let us take you back to the season premiere of SmackDown in Brooklyn. Kyrie Sane returning, and similar to Roxanne Perez. Bending those rules, using the exposed steel to cheat away a victory from Zelina Vega. Last week here on SmackDown, Raquel defeating Kyrie to earn her bad blood opportunity against Roxanne Perez, a celebration that was cut short. Just as Raquel's back was turned, Kyrie entered the ring and laid out Raquel Rodriguez, sending a message that these issues were only beginning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you to become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Of course, Halloween Havoc Night 2 going down this Saturday. And you'll also gain access to Fall Brawl going down on Saturday night, November the 9th. Hit the join button down below or link up in the card to become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Kyrie Sane's got issues with Selena Vega as well as Raquel Rodriguez. But she can't fight this matchup alone. Who's Kyrie Sane going to be tagging with here tonight? Oh, well, hold on just a second. And accompanied by EO Sky from Osaka, Japan. One half of the women's tag team champions, Oscar. Well, I guess we should have expected this. Kyrie Sane with loads of history alongside EO Sky and Asuka, your current WWE women's tag team champions. Asuka and Kyrie, former champions in their own right. Io and Kyrie spent over a year down at NXT teaming with each other as well. All three of these women from the land of the rising sun and now seemingly reunited on SmackDown, looking to take out some common enemies in Zelina Vega and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, Asuka and Io Sky retaining those championships several weeks ago at the season premiere of SmackDown against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Of course, Zoe Stark still with her own issues to settle with Roxanne Perez after what happened on Velocity two weeks ago. But Asuka and Io, no strangers to Raquel Rodriguez. During Raquel's Women's World Championship reign, both these women tried to topple her and take away the gold, only for Raquel to rise like a phoenix and turn away Asuka and Io. But now tonight, Asuka and Io may be the current holders of the women's tag team titles, but it is the Empress of Tomorrow Seemingly reigniting the Kabuki Warriors alongside Kyrie Sane against Selena Vega and Raquel Rodriguez. Guess when Kyrie comes calling and needs some help taking care of the business that she started, who better to turn to than your old friends in Asuka and Io? Well, here we are, first of two tag team matches on SmackDown. Already some exciting action moments ago, kicking things off in the Richmond Coliseum. Carmelo Hayes retaining his United States Championship over Ludwig Kaiser in the two out of three falls matchup. Now we see Kyrie Sane back inside the ring with Raquel Rodriguez, just where we were last week here on Thursday Night SmackDown. Kyrie Sane was obviously upset that Raquel laid her out with that Tahana bomb, followed it up with a three count and punched her ticket to bad blood, where she challenged for the women's world title against Roxanne Perez. What great strength showed by Kyrie Sane that time. Kyrie taking out that aggression on Raquel just as her back was turned and she was staring down Roxanne Perez who was looming at the top of the entrance ramp. Kyrie ambushing the woman who went on to be the challenger this past Saturday. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Raquel Rodriguez. Losing that women's world championship back at SummerSlam to Roxanne Perez, falling short in the Queen of the Ring tournament last month, only to finally get another opportunity at the championship. And you got Kyrie Sane ambushing you from behind. You got Perez using an underhanded tactic to retain the gold. Raquel's got to have her mind in a couple of places at the current moment, but she's got to have focus on this contest tonight. There are two, or we should say three, dangerous warriors standing across the ring from Raquel and Vega. Got Io Sky looming at ringside, and I am sure she will not hesitate to stick her nose in this matchup if the Kabuki Warriors are in need of some help. Right now, it's not looking like Asuka and Kyrie need any sort of help. 
They are all over Raquel Rodriguez here on SmackDown. Couple of double team maneuvers. Raquel is in trouble. A tag to Selena Vega would certainly benefit Raquel right now. Kyrie Sane. Now in the grasp of the most stronger individual. Fall away slam. Raquel Rodriguez fell short this past Saturday in Boston. She's not looking to see defeat all over again tonight. Oh, gets caught in the corner of the pair of boots. Kyrie Sane so dangerous. But she lacks in size inside of that ring. She makes up with ability and strikes. There's a tag made, much needed to Zelina. Vega to head scissors takedown. The LWO's first lady has not forgotten about being sent right to that cold steel by Kyrie Sane back in the season premiere. There's Asuka getting involved. And there's Zelina giving Asuka some. Little taste of her own minute. What, what the hell? Wait a minute, that's Drew McIntyre. And that's Ilya Dragunov. This is backstage here at the Richmond Coliseum. McIntyre's beating down his rival in the Man Dragon. Oh, these two men supposed to be involved in tonight's main event. And oh, man. You see Dragunov's calf just caught that glass window and shattered it. This is ridiculous. Dragunov falling short to Sheamus a few weeks ago, hoping to get revenge tonight. But McIntyre is doing a number on him on the concrete floor. Son of a bitch. McIntyre will not let Ilya Dragunov rest. Will not give Dragunov what he wants, which is simply a one-on-one -on -one match inside of that ring. We're supposed to get a tag team bout in the main event. The uh, rest of it remains to be seen if Ilya Dragunov is going to be able to make it out here after what we just saw. Nonetheless, let's try to refocus, ladies and gentlemen, because we got a tag team contest on hand right here, right now. Selena Vega taking out Asuka as she once again tries to intervene. Oh, there's a tag made. Kyrie Sane sneaking that tag to the Empress. Selena and Raquel may be a little bit emotional tonight. Understandably so. Especially Raquel Rodriguez after what happened this past Saturday at Bad Blood. Oh, no. Selena Vega in the crosshairs of the women's tag team champions. Hip attack, but luckily for Raquel, this one's not over yet. Oh, there's Asuka turning her sights on a woman she has had run-ins with in the past. And now Asuka going behind on Vega, sends her in enemy territory. The first lady of the LWO fighting for her life. Code red on Asuka. Asuka still alive. Richmond in appreciation of the efforts. Wait a minute, inside cradle by Asuka. Asuka just stole the victory from an emotional Zelina Vega. Here are your winners. Kyrie Sane and Asuka, the Kabuki Warriors. Well, Kyrie Sane needed a hand. She called upon old friends and it benefited them tonight. Well, one Raquel Rodriguez Gonna have to do her best to brush off this loss and move forward. Of course, as announced on Raw, this coming Monday night is an interpromotional six-man tag team matchup. Bleeding out of the events of bad blood, it is the WWE Women's Champion Cora Jade with the Queen of the Ring winner Tiffany Stratton and SmackDown's Women's World Champion Roxanne Perez as they take on the Queen Charlotte Flair, SmackDown's Raquel Rodriguez, and the EST Bianca Belair. A lot of writing on this six-woman tag, and it is going down this Monday night only on Monday Night Raw. But we still got action to get to right here in Richmond. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Andrea! Well, Angel and Berto might have fallen short at the Bad Blood kickoff, winning back the tag team titles. El Idolo, Andrade, looks to get that trio back on track. He's in singles action up next here on SmackDown.
Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Last Sunday afternoon in Hammerstein Ballroom, the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament concluded as NXT's Scottish Supernova, Noam Dar, battled SmackDown's Bruiserweight in Pete Dunne. In the end, it was said Bruiserweight, punching his ticket to the quarter final round. Later that afternoon, we saw a high stakes and high reward first round matchup also contested over the Cruiserweight Championship. Two rivals in JD McDonough and Tyler Bate locking horns. The big strong boy is moving on. We now look ahead to this Sunday afternoon at 12 noon Eastern time as the quarterfinal round kicks off as Nathan Frazier goes one on one with one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in Dragon Lee. Also going down this Sunday from Manhattan, New York, NXT's young OG, Javon Evans, takes on Wesley in what promises to be an exciting high-flying affair. The quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kick off live this Sunday at 12 noon Eastern time. But speaking of Wesley, he is making a pit stop here in the Richmond Coliseum, set to go one-on-one -on -one with El Idolo, Andrade. You know, we've talked in recent weeks how one Nathan Frazier may have had the most exciting outing in the first round of the CWC thus far. Wesley might have had the most resilient outing. Busted wide open, I'll bite accidentally, but saw color nonetheless in his first round matchup against Axiom several weeks ago. Hard fought battle for Wesley and certainly a deserving spot. Now, wait a minute, hold on here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some news. Of course, earlier tonight, we just saw Drew McIntyre ambushing Elliot Dragunov backstage. From what I'm being told, Dragunov has been taken to a local medical facility after being sent through that glass pane, needing stitches in his calf. And Cody Rhodes is going to have to find a new tag team partner. Oh, I, I hate to see that. Drew McIntyre taking his aggression out on his rival in Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov now being taken away from the arena, needing stitches in his... Stitches in his calf, excuse me, after he was sent right to that glass pane. And unfortunately now, Cody Rhodes is going to need to find a new tag team partner for tonight's main event. Well, hopefully Cody can work fast, and hopefully there's a locker room full of superstars looking to get their hands on McIntyre and Sheamus. But nonetheless, Wesley starting to come alive in this contest against Andrade. Wes Slayer talking about how impressive he has been in the Cruiserweight Classic only in his first round matchup. Let's see if he can keep his momentum alive and build some towards his contest with Javon Evans this Sunday. And we look at Andrade, a man who of course has aligned himself with Angel and Birdo in recent months. Those two men unable to win back the WWE Tag Team titles in the Tornado Tag Team Contest against Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio at the Bad Blood kickoff this past Saturday. Andrade, on the other hand, look at it. Hold on here. Well, that's the LWO's theme music. I don't, I don't know what business they got out here right now, to be perfectly honest. There's no... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Well, somebody just came through the crowd. Come back to the ring. That is Santos Escobar. He just smashed Andrade with a steel chair. Referee John Code. I mean, you, you had to see it. Well, I guess referee's discretion goes. Escobar's back. And he just screwed Andrade here at Richmond. Here is your winner, Wesley. Well, I guess referee John Cohn has got a you had it coming clause. Santos Escobar's back and he just took out Andrade. Well, more on that situation in a bit, ladies and gentlemen, but we got to turn our attention 
to what happened last week on SmackDown Tag Team Bout Rematch between the Street Profits and the D'Angelo family. Tony D and Stax have been impressive since their SmackDown debut. They have been a problem for Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. The Street Profits going back to the drawing board figured out what they had to do and securing a victory last week. We have been sent some kind of message from the D'Angelo family. We're going to take a look at it right here, right now. Growing up, Uncle Paul always used to tell me, Tony, there's two things we take seriously. Business and family. And when it comes to what came in at eSports, who would that serious? But now you can add a third item to that list. My success in the WWE. I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused. When the hell did Channing Lorenzo ambush Montez Ford in the parking garage? Was that earlier today? Was that last week? What kind of message was that from the D'Angelo family? Man, this has been quite the night. Eerie as all hell on SmackDown. But we gotta refocus, ladies and gentlemen, because we are moments away from our tag team main event. Drew McIntyre sending Ilya Dragunov to the hospital. Dragunov's getting stitches as we speak. It's McIntyre and Sheamus. Cody needs a tag team partner. Who's it gonna be? We find out in moments here on SmackDown. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. What is coming up this Saturday for No Nation Gaming Channel members, Halloween Havoc Night 2, and for Monday Night Roll, headlining the festivities, it is a street fight as CM Punk goes one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion, Dominic Mysterio. Also from Raw, one of their newest signees that made an impact this past Monday night, the Storm is coming to Norfolk on Saturday. Jade Cargill will be in action live at Halloween Havoc Night 2. It's Halloween season. There's ghosts, there's ghouls, there's goblins, and there's monsters. And two of them are going to collide on Saturday as the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman, goes one-on-one -on -one with the big Aussie, Big Brunson Reed. And just signed for Halloween Havoc as well, Carmelo Hayes retaining his United States Championship earlier tonight, and he is going right back in the line of fire. Melo has issued an open challenge. The United States title will be on the line. Who's going to accept? Find out for No Nation Gaming Channel members this Saturday at Halloween Havoc. We look forward to next Thursday night on SmackDown from Raleigh, North Carolina. Santos Escobar returning moments ago and already signed. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Angel Garza. Escobar's got a score to settle with Andrade. He looks to make his way through the trio starting next week. And we briefly touched on earlier tonight, Zoe Stark, she's looking to get back at Roxanne Perez for what she did two weeks ago on Velocity. The women's world champ gonna have a busy week next week as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Stark on SmackDown. 
and barely surviving hell in a cell on Saturday. The Apex Predator will be back in action next Thursday night in Raleigh, North Carolina. Randy Orton, where does he go from here? No world title. How does this affect the Apex Predator? We find out next week as Orton returns to SmackDown. But it is made of that time from Richmond. It was looking like severed ties in the friendship, but Sheamus finally listened to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre telling Sheamus he needed to find his edge, find his killer instinct, find the man who was once a champion here in WWE. And over the last month, we have seen an aggressive side of Sheamus, one that certainly showed out two weeks ago in an absolute war of attrition and a successful one at that for Sheamus against Ilya Dragunov here on SmackDown. Dragunov was hoping to get a measure of revenge tonight. Unfortunately, that is not to be. And that is all thanks to this man, the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre, who wants nothing more to do with said man dragon. Let's take a look at what happened less than a half hour ago here in the Richmond Coliseum. McIntyre ambushing Ilya Dragunov backstage. And what you'll see moments later is what has sent Ilya Dragunov off, off to a local hospital to get stitches in his calf. Watch as Dragunov's calf caught the glass window, shattering it. Moments later, blood was shed and unfortunately Dragunov no longer here in the Richmond Coliseum tonight. Dragunov wanted more than anything to get his hands on Sheamus, get his hands on McIntyre, two men that have been a thorn in his side and have left him laying time and time again here on SmackDown. Unfortunately, Dragunov will have to live to fight another day as McIntyre continues to throw his weight around. Well, McIntyre and Sheamus can continue to ambush and attack whomever they want. But one thing is for sure, Drew McIntyre, who is obsessed with winning back the World Heavyweight Championship, cannot do so with a simple ambush on this man. McIntyre wants back the World Championship. That is common knowledge. But what we saw this past Saturday and what Cody Rhodes went through I got a feeling that Cody Rhodes will not be denied, will not allow McIntyre to get his hands on that big gold belt. Through hell or high water, the American Nightmare walked out of Devil's Playground this past Saturday. Still your world heavyweight champion, burying the demons of his past, writing the final chapter with Randy Orton in blood, and Cody Rhodes walking away with the championship that he scratched and clawed to earn over two months ago. McIntyre and Sheamus continue to be on his tail, but Cody Rhodes is ready to fight here on SmackDown. Ho 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 ho! And Cody has not come alone! Make the call! Here's the answer! The franchise is in the house! Hey. 
from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest of all time, Well, Cena has been alongside Cody in recent weeks. They teamed at night one of Halloween Havoc, successfully against A-Town Down Under. And last week, John Cena stepped in as the pick-your-poison opponent as Cody chose Randy Orton's opponent seven nights ago. Cena once again stepping in to fight alongside Cody Rhodes as Ilya Dragunov is off getting stitches in his calf. Well, Dragunov is going to have retribution coming for both Sheamus and most importantly, Drew McIntyre. But tonight we focus on John Cena, who's riding a high of a successful hometown return this past Saturday. Well, this all-star main event has seen the ante up as the World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes kicks things off with a Celtic Warrior Sheamus. You know, it's interesting enough because it was last month on SmackDown that Sheamus went one-on-one -on -one with Cody in the main event. It was a hell of a matchup, dare I say a banger, as Sheamus would put it. It seemed as if a loss on that night is kind of what sent Sheamus over the edge. Remember, Cody Rose got the victory, extended the hand to Sheamus after the bout. Sheamus wanted no parts of it. Left Cody Rhodes hanging and brouhaha commenced. There's Sheamus putting his hands on John Cena. Cena gonna wait his turn. He knows his turn will come in this tag team bout. No shortage of history between those two men. Sheamus defeating John Cena all the way back in 2009 to win his first WWE Championship. That's the killer instinct that Drew McIntyre has been trying to get out of Sheamus in recent weeks and it seemingly has worked. There's Cody Rhodes trying to fight back. You gotta imagine Cody Rhodes is feeling way less than 100% after the war he went through on Saturday inside hell in a cell. Cody may not be sporting any flesh wounds, but internally he's got to be hurting, but that isn't going to stop the World Heavyweight Champion from fighting. Cody and Ilya Dragunov have fought side by side several times as well, trying to take out common enemies here on SmackDown. I am sure now that Dragunov is off in the hospital, probably watching this main event on a TV screen, that Cody's looking to do one good by the Czar. Sheamus and Drew McIntyre looking to continue to rub salt in the wounds of every man that steps in their way as they continue to cause destruction on SmackDown. Two weapons of mass destruction to say the least as McIntyre gets tagged in and a little double team maneuver by those two international warriors. Over five weeks ago, at no mercy, Drew McIntyre fell short to Cody Rhodes in a pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship. Just a few days later on SmackDown, we saw Drew McIntyre was not gonna be denied, was certainly not satisfied in that defeat. Had ambushed Cody Rhodes just moments before Ilya Dragunov made the save. One thing is for sure, Drew McIntyre's road to the World Heavyweight Championship will not stop. His obsession will not stop. His path of destruction will not be halted until he gets back the title he lost nearly one year ago at Survivor Series. McIntyre has become a different individual on SmackDown throughout this year. The failures of winning back the World Championship, whether it was last year at Survivor Series, WrestleMania this year. Of course, the losses to Ilya Dragunov that spawned that whole rivalry. McIntyre, a changed and much more dangerous individual. But Cody Rhodes does not give a damn who Drew McIntyre is or what he claims to be. Cody's going to give him hell. Sending McIntyre in a superhero territory, tag made to the franchise player, John Cena. Well, Cena has seen some up and down success since his SmackDown return last month. Of course, falling short to Randy Orton, thanks to an assistance by Gunther last week on SmackDown. But Cena, along with the Trick Mellow gang, making good on their work this past Saturday in a six-man tag team victory against Imperium. Gotta imagine that Guther is gonna be looming, that Guther is not done chasing John Cena's title of the greatest of all time just yet. But as for now, Cena refocusing on this tag team bout tonight, and he better be focused, because Drew McIntyre is looking to have an A-plus attitude. 
Ooh, right to the jawline. Noxina loopy momentarily, and now a tag made to Sheamus, who's going to take his time getting involved in this matchup. I'm sure Sheamus would love to send a message to the entire SmackDown locker room and of course the man who stands on the apron, the World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes, saying look what I did to one of the greatest of all time, beating him down inside of this ring. This could be your future. To me, that's the most exciting, or shall I say interesting part of this whole Sheamus and Drew McIntyre alliance as of late is you gotta believe both men want the same individual prize. Regardless of that, Sheamus breaking John Cena in half with a series of backbreakers. John Cena came in hot, and these two warriors and Sheamus and McIntyre holding that momentum before it could really get going. And now on the shoulders, air raid crash by Drew. Cody Rhodes with a little assistance to ensure this matchup is not over yet. Drew McIntyre has done all he can to brush off Ilya Dragunov ever since Dragunov resurfaced for the first time since SummerSlam last month. McIntyre has stuck Sheamus on the Mad Dragon, took him out backstage earlier. Drew wants nothing to do with the Mad Dragon and wants all to do with the World Heavyweight title. John Cena off the reversal. Could be stopping Drew McIntyre's game plan of getting back the big gold belt before it can truly get restarted. Oh man, inside of the ring. Cena's looking for a signature. A little five knuckle shuffle. Into the cover. Sheamus breaking things up. These four SmackDown All-Stars throwing some live rounds in the midst of this main event. We are here in the Richmond Coliseum in River City, Richmond, Virginia for Thursday Night SmackDown hot off the heels of bad blood this past Saturday. Of course, Survivor Series looming next month, Saturday night, November the 16th. Gotta wonder where all these SmackDown superstars are gonna lie on that night in the Kia Center in Orlando. There's a tag made to Sheamus. One to Cody. Cody just got caught with a brogue. But dare I say, nowhere near enough damage done to one warrior that is the World Heavyweight Champion, Cody Rhodes, proven to be a soldier on the battlefield this past Saturday night. If Randy Orton couldn't take down Cody inside Hell in the Cell, Sheamus and McIntyre better realize it's going to take a hell of a lot to keep him down tonight. It's the same bro kick that pinned Ilya Dragunov two weeks ago. Remember, that was a damn near 20 minute war before Sheamus hit that kick. Oh no, we got a flying Scottish warrior here in Richmond. That is gonna be one scary sight. Watching a 285 pounder coming crashing down on your ringside. Well, the World Heavyweight Champion may be surviving, but he certainly isn't thriving, getting ragdolled from pillar to post, and John Cena just forced to watch. It's exactly the type of matchup that McIntyre and Sheamus love. Brutality from bell to bell, as now Drew is putting his hands on the illegal competitor in John Cena. Cody Rhodes trying to get his way back inside the ring. John Cena knocked down with a 10 beat to the boundary. Cody Rhodes trying to come to the save as Cena just collapses at ringside. Nothing the champ can do. McIntyre and Sheamus may be nearing victory here in River City. Cody Rhodes is able to survive hell in the cell, but it may have been a miraculous outing. Tonight may be catastrophic for the World Heavyweight Champion as he gets set to the ropes. Oh, wait a minute, scoop and a slam. Cody Rhodes off the reversal that time. Another reversal. Cody fighting for his life. Instincts kicking in, adrenaline in his soul. Sheamus in enemy territory. Tag made to the GOAT, the 16-time champ in John Cena. And we're talking about Drew McIntyre's obsession with the world title. You gotta believe Sheamus has eyes on Cody Rhodes as well. What about John Cena? Cena's back on SmackDown. I'm sure he's looking for his opportunity. But Cena, 
opposed to other superstars, gonna take one task at a time and focus on McIntyre and Sheamus here in this tag team bout. There's a tag made to Drew. McIntyre with a Claymore kick. Cody breaking things up as Drew caught Cena in a lick. McIntyre goes for another move. Cena running off adrenaline. Cena, attitude adjustment to McIntyre. And now it's Sheamus breaking things up. Live rounds are being thrown. These all-stars giving it their damnedest. We have got a hell of a main event. Upsetting the dragon off. Could not make it down to the squared circle tonight, but Cena proven to be a suitable replacement. Off the Cody Cutter. Gave McIntyre a moment of R&R &R as he takes down the World Heavyweight Champion. Two weeks ago, we talked about how Ilya Dragunov was looking to institute a symphony of destruction. Tonight, I think the same can be said for Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Sheamus tagged back in, and Cody Rhodes catches up with a scoop and a slam. And now the Celtic Warrior in familiar territory, Pedigree! Man, oh man, what a main event this has been. Another cover by Cody. McIntyre still in the soles of his boots. Drew McIntyre ensuring we don't see a finish just yet. There's Cody knocking down Drew momentarily. Making him lose his balance on the apron. Just that slight hesitation taking an eye off Sheamus, giving Sheamus just a window to climb through. And momentum is back on the side of those two dastardly individuals. Sheamus uncharacteristic position here on the top rope. Going for a whatever it was, arm drag. Close line, I have no idea. Looking to just use his body as a weapon, but Cody Rhodes was able to avoid it. Cody Dale, eyes locked, prime target. Game, set, match, point. Crossroads by Cody. This one is over. What a tag team main event between these four all-stars of Thursday nights. John Cena stepping in and proved to be a suitable replacement for Ilya Dragunov in the midst of this tag team main event here on SmackDown. Here are your winners, the team of Cody Rhodes and John Cena. Well, rest assured, Ilya Dragunov's going to be back. Beaten, broken, it does not give a damn. He's gonna get his hands on McIntyre. But tonight belongs to the franchise, John Cena. And certainly, oh, wait a minute. Cena's standing right in the way of the champion. And hold on here. Battle lines may be being drawn. Respect is there, absolutely. But everybody's got the same thing in mind. Everybody wants a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship.